Then we're going to start from the beginning. What were you sure. What is this? Okay, so this scenario could be such that I'm coming to this place and uh, uh, I can get some sort of like alert to my phone that uh, there's something interesting for me in this area. Uh, and then after that, I guess that's like a scanning as to what actually that phone that could be. So this would be your phone. This is yeah, why my phone. Or it could be some uh, accessory like my wristband or something like that. Okay. Oh, it could be uh, some, something else. Uh, yeah. And when I point to this jazz cafe over there, I get like a, so, uh, like a very nice like a vibration into my like a device, and it's uh, actually occurring only when I like I'm pointing to that direction. And also the audio cue which is coming. It's like uh, indicating some like a little bit more information about the target. And it appears to be jazz, okay, it's a jazz cafe, it's jazz music. And if I want to know more about this target, I can just like a trigger the information by a gesture. Jazz Club proudly presents Eddie's trio tonight. Jazz Club proudly presents Eddie's trio tonight, 11. Okay, I've got like a little bit more information about the now. I'm quite happy. Okay, let's check if there's something else. This is great, and I thought that I've got a picture. How do you do it? Real world, because this, they, this they, would, they won't have that. Well, this uh, is exactly almost real world already. Only a picture. Well, can, you, uh, can you describe a little bit how you would organize the message? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, but uh, uh, our focus was mainly on this like, uh, interaction, not so much on the how to create the content. Uh, I mean, of course, that's uh, part of the deal, but uh, we are uh, like, uh, investigating new methods, so new, new ways how to like uh, interact with the uh, content which is like uh, embedded in the environment. And, more specifically, in this demo, we are like, uh, focusing on the tactile feedback, on the gesture interaction, and also how to put the 3D audio, I mean, three-dimensional special audio there, uh, and also the speech feedback, so that we don't basically need to look at the screen, and that we don't need to be able to like uh, read maps or anything like that. But uh, anyway, this kind of metadata issue or how to like create the content that's uh, beyond there. It has to be there. And uh, that can be basically provided by some like an OB service or some like a Nokia map service. So it's kind of like a, just old, uh, this kind of alternative way uh, to interface uh, some uh, location-based content. Could you describe the minimum requirements in terms of the hardware that you think are necessary to enable this? Yes, uh, this is based on uh, orientation tracking and uh, position tracking. So we, <coughs> we are not extracting anything from uh, from like a visual like. Uh, uh, content of the, like a pointing direction, like you can probably see in this like a point and find uh, demo, which is on the other corner over there. It's based on like a camera viewfinding and uh, finding some like uh, features of the camera image. But this is based only on uh, that I know where am I and where am I pointing. And then we are assuming that there's some like a other uh, content in this place, which are also like a, have some sort of like a, uh, location data available. So we need to know that I'm where am I standing now, and where am I pointing. And what is available in the pointing direction? And this is also based on what is already available in the Nokia map. So if I select certain region, I know that uh, if I'm interested in restaurants, that they could be a list of restaurants in this area. But in addition to that, this demo is like a kind of uh, uh, enhancing that with the pointing, and also this like a intuitive navigation with pointing interaction. But are you assuming additional hardware to? Um, make that pointing uh, possible or are you assuming this is GPS and compass? Uh, this is already, I mean, some extent of this user GPS is already possible with, uh, with the current technology. So we have the compass and we have the GPS. But uh, in order to like uh, get into this level of user experience, we need a little bit more accuracy from the pointing. And actually this device is equipped with, with, uh, with a gyroscope, which is very, very uh, accurate and fast responding to the, to the, like, uh, the directional movements. Uh, but to some extent, uh, the user experience can be like uh, provided already already with the current technology. So there's no speaker on the desk or the ice cream box to signalize to, to this? Uh, I don't understand the question now. Uh, I mean, how, how do you find the desk lab? Just only by knowing how you, where you are, or there is an external mark? Um, just to the, the mark actually is digital somewhere. There must be some like a service which is like a containing a database of all like items, all, all like a, uh, uh, some like a points of interest which are like a location tag. So they must be, if I come to this place, there must be some sort of like a uh, interface where I can ask it what kind of like a, a points of interest. It doesn't need to be placed in the... No, 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 it can be the database in the service. Okay, it can be some other service which is like a containing a list of uh, interest that I'm like a, of all the restaurants that I'm interested in. And they must be some sort of like